Okay, so the next CEO conference itself is something that is meant for the Nigerian young person. And three things we are saying is follow. That means go to school, listen to your lecturers, be involved in the activities in school, lead from within, go for internship, work for other people, get to learn things from other people, then become your own boss at the end of the day. Um, the Techpreneurs Initiative is centered around a conference that goes to universities, colleges of education, um, polytechnics. We should tailor each team to the institution. So this is Yaba College of Technology. The talk for young people to take the lead is something that echoes every now and then. But giving them the right tools is what we're looking at. So the strategy or the motivation is that we have CEOs that we're providing services for as an organization. Therefore, how does these CEOs give back to the community? We'll bring them to interface with aspiring and would-be entrepreneurs in the future where they get to tell us how they started their business, the challenges they face amidst the dynamics of the Nigerian uh, economy and they are thriving. Therefore, inspiring young people to finish school, do internship, work for others and have it in mind that someday they are going to set up their own business. So my name is Chike Okebu, um, the youngest presidential candidate in Nigeria running under Advanced Allied Party. Um, it was definitely great to be here today at this uh, at Yaba Tech. Um, had a great time. Students are brilliant. Uh, it's always good to be in the midst of students, uh, especially since we know they're the ones we're looking at to lead the nation. I believe uh, our nation um, lacks the technological infrastructure that we need to walk into the future that we should be walking into. Um, partly because our leaders do not understand its importance, do not understand technology one, do not understand its importance and its importance to our lives. And so we definitely need the right leadership to ensure that we not only talk about technology, but we start to implement uh, the infrastructure needed to walk us into the future. I got to listen to 10, 10 founders talk about the things they're doing, both in small business entrepreneurship and tech entrepreneurship. Um, even though there were so many more in the room, which is really exciting. Um, so for students here, there are a few things that came up during conversations. Uh, one, how to network, uh, the importance of leveraging the network you have, leveraging um, communities around you and building out your network to, to pursue the things that you want to do. Uh, the other extremely important thing we talked about was um, understanding the importance of entrepreneurship to our existence. Nigerians are very resilient people um, and applying that resilience to making sure that we start to one prepare students for, for tomorrow um, so that when they graduate from schools one they are not just looking for jobs they are also job creators so the entrepreneurial mindset is extremely extremely important. Definitely an awesome job today by the organizers. Uh, this is extremely crucial and important uh, in preparing our young people, especially Yabatech is supposed to be um, the, the premier technolo uh, technology institution, high institution in the nation, if not in Africa. Um, so things like this is extremely crucial to preparing our students and creating opportunities for them, but also in connecting them with other people who have already walked the path that they are looking to walk. Uh, so I would say keep up the good job, do a lot more of these, get more uh, young people who are doing exciting stuff involved. Um, you have, yesterday I was at Vibranium Valley, brilliant, brilliant young people doing crazy awesome stuff. So it's important to start to connect the educational um, environments with some of these uh, innovation um, um, honing places uh, to prepare young students so that they can start to intern for startups who are doing well even before they graduate. Um, so that by the time they get to this um, or events like this, they are better prepared, they have better connections, they have better networks to leverage and looking, for, um, and looking forward to the future. So definitely need more of these. I think these should be more uh, should be replicated across the state, the city, and uh, across Nigeria. Uh, Mrs. Titilayo Ukaba, the Deputy Director, Administration of Yaba College of Tech. In this program, I've come to represent my rector, Engineer Femi Omokube, uh, who is on official assignment. Uh, the program is very, very important because we know that we have unemployment in Nigeria, and the earlier we get our student to uh, get to understand that there's a need for them to think outside the box and begin to think of how they can impact society, creating jobs them, from the, for the set, the, for themselves and also being employers of labor. So we have a department in the school, of, uh, we have the Center for Entrepreneurship 
which we have already inculcated in them. But with this program, it will help them to move further by seeing that is imp and they are being challenged by the CEOs that we have. They, uh, they, they are, they, they've been able to see different ways by which they can start off and different, the challenges on the way and how they can overcome those challenges. So this program is very, very important because they meet people who have been in it, how they can overcome the challenge. You know, with that, they can also have mentors that will help them when they face those challenges and, be, and they'll be on their own. They will not be job seekers, but creators uh, of employment. My name is Joe Ndubweze, age of four. I'm a deputy registrar and uh, the head of public relations of the college. The dream of every child is to be self-sufficient and um, be a creator of um, a job and uh, to be the next CEO. With this kind of a uh, program, our children are mentored. We invite people that have gone into, gone into fields like this to come and mentor our students. And students seeing them and seeing them as role models will be motivated to become a job creator, which will later translate to being CEO of their company. I'd like to commend all the organizers and I also want to appreciate them for bringing this program to Yaba College of Technology. I also want to commend the center manager of um, Continued Professional Development Center, Dr. Momia, for keying into this program. This is the kind of program we want to do. Yaba College of Technology, as you know, is the uh, cradle of higher institution in Nigeria. This is the first institution of higher learning in Nigeria. It's a global brand. And um, partnering with this uh, wonderful organization to bring this program to the college is a welcome, welcome development. Our students are the utmost beneficiary of it. I'm Dr. Kayo De Momodu, the Registrar of Yaba College of Technology. The CEO conference is a new innovation in the ideas being imparted into our students for greater tomorrow. Expectedly, it's going to have a positive impact on them because they are being taught how to become entrepreneurs tomorrow, not job seekers, but job developers. And this is the essence of the conference. We want to encourage the uh, organizers to keep on doing this because this kind of program takes the youth away from the vices of the society and at the end of the day, we have a better society. I would like to commend the organizers at first for um, having the boldness and the readiness to come up with this initiative. We would like to support initiatives like this. We would like to be part of events or programs that support tech businesses or techpreneurs, emerging techpreneurs, the entrepreneurs of the future. We want to support them more and more in our initiatives, in their programs, in what they are doing currently. So um, the future, uh, as I said earlier, is going to be driven basically by tech. Even for us in the banking space, a whole lot of things in the banking space are being revolutionized by tech. So tech is taking over. Banking is becoming more digital. People can access banking products and services from anywhere. So it's becoming very, very much tech inclined. And we want to ensure that we are um, already playing in that space before uh, we are not going to try to uh, play catch up to what's going to happen. We are preparing ahead. We are thinking ahead, developing products and services that would meet the needs of our current and future customers. And that is what we are doing today. Thank you very much.